Veuillez vous lever. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. Ong Junojubre, Kamato, Kajamaka, and the TT. Samaka. The court is now back in session. L'audience est reprise. Next. I hand over the floor to the prosecution to continue presenting the document to the chamber. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good, good morning, Council, and good morning, Merci, Mr. General Public. Your Honours, uh, this morning I will continue uh, the presentation that we have uh, with a particular focus on documents that um, are relevant to. Yang Sari, but at the same time, they're relevant to, to all of the accused, as uh, the documents, as you will note, um, lead to uh, evidence establishing policies prior to 1975 that were consistent with the policies after 1975, um, as well as the structure of the, of the CPK, um, as well as uh, the development uh, of the party and uh, la construction the, du parti the command structure. So, les as much as the, the documents that will be presented this morning, um, most of them certainly come from the, uh, the voice of Yang Sari, the statements by him. Les uh, they are, of course, uh, relevant to, to all of the accused. And de Yang Sari, in terms of lui, uh, presenting material, the, the documents, uh, particularly the documents we'll present in relation to Yang Sari this morning. There are a number of interviews given by him uh, during uh, the Long Mo War, during 1970-1975, and then during the DK period, and then post-DK period. Um, and what we would say about some of those documents is that um, during the period, that information was provided by Mr. Yang Sari contemporaneous to the events de without de Yang fear of criminal prosecution. So we would say that there's a certain de poursuite um, extra et nous donc accuracy dire uh, to that information. Exactitude particulière. And, and secondly, in relation to some interviews given later, after Mr. Yang Sari um, defected from the Khmer Rouge, la de um, Yang Sari, we would ask me to look at those interviews carefully in terms of uh, any, any parts that you may believe de, um, have been revised to protect himself. And certainly we'd be making submissions not now, but at the end of the case, about what aspects of those interviews de uh, we disagree with and the evidence um, uh, contradicts des, des and what aspects uh, we say would support récent, uh, um, qui the allegations in the indictment. So perhaps, if, if I can start, or perhaps just before that, um, what, what I won't do is I won't present uh, the same material that's uh, provided in different interviews uh, by Mr. Yang Sari again and again. Uh, certainly for public purposes, that would be uh, not terribly interesting. But by the same token, what we would say to Your Honour about these documents that show consistent positions on policy, les structure, une position development of the party, la structure and et the accused role, du parti et le rôle de that it's important that they all be admitted ces in full, Il est que ces soient because it's, it's that consistency between the documents totalité. that Cela um, une cohérence increases entre les the authenticity of them qui en and increases the reliability of the uh, of the facts that they purport, um, des renseignements qu'ils contiennent to allege. So, if we can move to the first document, and the first document, Your Honours, is in fact le premier document, a video clip, and the D number is D109-32.2. English ERN V00172512. V 
to V00172512. It's a, it's a video entitled Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge. And, Your Honours, this Paul is a Pot clip Il of clip video. Uh, Mr. Yang Sari's visit visite with de Yang Sari uh, Prince Norodom Sihanouk uh, back Sihanouk in March in 1973 en mer, en when they came back to Cambodia quand and met uh, the senior leadership, the other, other senior leadership au of the Khmer Rouge. On uh, and you'll les see on the video Pol Pot. Du Khmer Rouge. And you'll see on, on the video Khu Sam Pan. In fact, a short clip was shown earlier but what it, what it doesn't highlight que nous avons is uh, Yang Sari's presence pas la at de the Yang headquarters Sari. at that particular location. It's not clear where it is, but it's in Cambodia. Uh, and it shows est, that, est that relationship between what Yang Sari was doing in Beijing que ce, ce que and what the CPK were doing uh, in Cambodia. So I would ask that the, the video clip be played. Donc que, que the timing is at 14 minutes 33 to 18 minutes at 20, uh, 29. And it's excerpted a little bit so that uh, some perhaps redundant and less interesting uh, information is not, not contained. Donc, so I would ask de sorte that uh, video clip be played. Ne soit pas and then perhaps I'd make montré. two points about that. Je demanderai donc maintenant que l'on présente once it's finished. Et observations à faire après son, sa projection. And if it could be translated as, as we go. Il y aura interprétation du vidéo. En mars 1973, le prince Sihanouk et son épouse Sihanouk retournent au Cambodge dans le Maquis Khmer Rouge. L'objectif de ce retour historique est clair, montrer à l'étranger que la résistance contre l'Ordre Nord et les Américains est triste. Le prince Sihanouk et son épouse Sihanouk retournent au Cambodge dans le Maquis Khmer Rouge. L'objectif de ce retour historique est clair, montrer à l'étranger que la résistance contre l'Ordre Nord et les Américains est triste. Le prince Sihanouk et son épouse Sihanouk retournent au Cambodge dans le Maquis Khmer Rouge. L'objectif de ce retour historique est clair, montrer à l'étranger que la résistance contre l'Ordre Nord et les Américains est triste. Le prince Sihanouk et son épouse Sihanouk retournent au Cambodge dans le Maquis Khmer Rouge. L'objectif de ce retour historique est clair, montrer à l'étranger que la résistance contre l'Ordre Nord et les his Mercedes, it's grey, and it's well camouflaged by our guerrilla fighters. Here, we are resting, halfway, I'm working, I'm speaking about my country with my colleagues, Mr. Yang Sari, special envoy from the Khmer Inter Interior Resistance, Kyu Sampan, speaking to me friendly, he is alive, here is Hunim, and the leaders of the People's Army. The names of the true Khmer leaders such as Pol Pot and Nguyen Chia are never revealed. For the prince, it's Kyo Sampan, someone who is respected, who leads the resistance. Pol Pot, however, remains aside, which, however, does not prevent him from running the show. And here uh, we have been advised uh, by uh, the photographers of the People's Army uh, to take uh, a souvenir together. This is my nature since my childhood. I have never spoken openly about myself. I talked to a person. Uh, uh, told, uh, said that he had known me for more than 20 years. I did not want to say that I was the leader, although I was asked some questions. I asked about my biography, my background. I just responded, I uh, tried uh, to work very hard, that's all. 
I worked as Comme the secretary of the party. Du parti, il n'y avait personne d'autre. Because no one travail. would uh, uh, dit que je choose ne to pas uh, work as secretary of the party, and I decided to, to uh, help. Thank you, Your Honours. Your Honours, just two points I'd like to Merci. note in relation to Deux that. Um, it was stated by the, by the prince. It didn't come out in the translation, Ça but it was the voice of the, the prince that uh, he and Yang Sari, um, Yang Sari, or Yang Sari, was a collaborator with the Yang internal Sari resistance, and he was the more permanent link in Beijing between uh, the CPK and, um, and Grunk and Funk. And the Grunk and the Funk. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, you'll probably noted the last words of the prince. Also, Your Honours, uh, the interview in this case provides very significant evidence on a wide range of areas where perhaps uh, Mr. Yang Seri has événements. spoken with um, more particularity than in the other interviews Yang that Sari uh, are before you. Donné plus de And so que dans we would les say this interview is particularly useful to understand utile. the associations that uh, Mr. Yang Seri had with Pol Pot, Sun Sen, Q Sun Pan, and other party members, as well as important to understand his activities prior to 1963, leaving to Office 100, and prior to and whilst and whilst in Beijing, it provides evidence as to the. Formation of relationships between the accused, the organizational structure of the CPK, the leadership structure at offices 100 and 102 when he was zone secretary for the northeast and special emissary of the resistance movement in Beijing. It provides evidence of the existence of cooperatives prior to 1975, and also provides evidence as to the CPK policies and strategies. And it particularly provides evidence of Mr. Yang Sari's knowledge of the evacuation of Phnom Penh about nine months before it occurred. And we'll get to that conversation where Mr. Yang Sari recounts. The discussion he had with Pol Pot in mid 1974, where they discussed the evacuation of Phnom Penh and the problems that may be entailed in that process. But perhaps if we look at the interview in some chronological order, starting with Mr. Yang Sari's role for recruiting individuals for the communist revolution, for the CPK, to assist in forming the Communist Party of Kampuchea. I'd like to refer your honours to ERN English 0041. 0041-7629, Khmer 0006-2490, and French 0033-2709-10, and perhaps if we can put, if I can ask our case manager to place that document on the screen, where Yang Sari talks to Stephen Hedder about his role in gathering up students for the CPK revolution in the early days. Also, Yang Sari talks to Stephen Hedder about his role in gathering up students for the CPK revolution in the early days. Also, Yang Sari talks to Stephen Hedder about his role in gathering up students
whilst that is happening, Your Honours, perhaps what I will do is I'll read out um, the excerpts that relate to that Entre issue, temps, je vais and then as, um, les as I read different excerpts through the interview, perhaps the, the case manager et will, will be able to pull the, uh, the English document up on the screen, so um, at least it can be followed in that sense. So in, in relation to, and I think you can see it on the screen now, Je crois le voit à à regarding his role in recruiting individuals, son role pour le Mr. Yang Sari states, Yang Sari so then Sun Sen dit, came and split me away from Salat Sar Pol Pot back in the 50s. Sun Sen came back from France in 55 and 56, 56, one year before me. Un an avant moi. Steve Hedder. Ensuite, and when Steve Sun Sen Hedder, returned, Sun Sen they assigned him rentré, to assemble forces from the ranks of the intellectuals. Is that right? Des les des right, right. Réponse, oui, oui. As I understand it, especially si bien, pedagogy, and as for you, what did they assign you to do in that era? Quel était votre rôle dans ce he states, at that time, Réponse I was in the Democratic Party. À au sein du Parti Steve Hedder states, oh, Steve liaison. Dit, oh, la liaison. Yang Sari Yang states, Sari that's right, making contacts with the Democratic Party, gathering up Contacter students, le Parti but the important thing was, I was with the Democratic Party in order to gather up the distinguished figures of the Democratic Party and bring them into the movement. If we next look at uh, Ensuite, Yang Sari's view Yang Sari at that time that the CPK needed to be independent from the Vietnamese communists, if we can look at ERN English 00417-630-631, Khmer 00062-491, and French 00033-2711. Steve Hedder states, Steve Hedder dit, so in that era they assigned donc, my man to gather them up, my man de les and rassembler. when he was inactive, they gave him inactif, back to you, and Yang Sari states, Yang Sari yes, réponse, yes, oui, oui. then I returned from France, Je suis rentré no matter France. what Sun Sen said, Quoi que dise I came Sun back Sen, to make a contribution Je suis pour faire une with Tai Chul Samut, Nguyen Chia, Pol Pot, Pol Pot, and I was in the committee, au sein du comité. but the three of them Mais mostly did clandestine work. Clandestin. I did not join in much. Je ne suis pas I was in charge of the Democratic Party, eux, du and Parti Sun Sen was in charge of the intellectuals, and, and intellectuels. I made contacts, Et moi, des and des Nguyen Chia Steve Hedder says, Steve Nguyen Chia was on the worker side, and Yang Sari states, the workers and the popular laborers at Spiang Tong, Tong, I had made many contacts with Hugh Sampan to look at the conservator newspaper pour, uh, that was last published in 1960. So that, that I misquoted that. that obviously didn't relate to the uh, um, disassociating from the Vietnamese, but still building the party. If we look at ERN 00417 631, Khmer 00624914991, and French 00332711, Yang Sari comments on the relationship uh, with the Vietnamese. Firstly, uh, they talk about Yang Sari admits being on the standing committee uh, in 1960. He said, he said yes, yes, oui. since 1960. Oui, but I attended as, what did they call it, Mais a veteran member. However, as for any influence I had in there to contact the Yuan, pour ce qui est de that was non-existent. Only Tai to Samut, only Nguyen Chia, and Salot Saar. But at efficace. that very time, Vietnam did not want to spread the party. That was clear. Tuck Hu said that creating such Ta a thing was not good, that it bon had to be secret. Que ça rester secret. The Communist Party le had to be secret. secret. I said that since my nation had one people, 
we were in solidarity. Que but it was imperative that the parties solidaires. be clearly separate. The Dan Vietnamese never trusted me after that. It was the same in France. Même chose en France. I just discussed, spoke about the matter on One Nation with Tao Lam. De cette I don't know what he's Tao doing now. And he discussed circles around it, Il a parlé saying de façon Cambodia indirect, did not bear the label of a true nation according to the preconditions set by Stalin. That is where Staline. that is. There were three, but the economic preconditions were lacking. Les conditions so then it was not pas là. yet a nation. Ce donc pas Therefore, une based nation. on this, Et donc, they said the creation of a separate party la was not possible. Pas possible. If we move then to Yang Sari's admissions Yang Sari in relation to his activities, activities in the C at the CPK headquarters, Central Committee headquarters, at Office 100, with other leaders such as Sun Sen. And this is at English ERN 00417 Khmer 00062479 to 80, and French 00327 to 02. And he starts, Steve Hedder states, at Office 100. Steve Hedder dit, au bureau they went to the forest and Steve Hedder said, to Office 100. Yang Sari states, yes, Sari, in Tainin oui, territory, adjacent to the border, but in Vietnamese ter territory. And all the guards were Vietnamese. Steve Hedder, Steve Hedder Sun Sen's, Yang, Sen, Yang Sari, no. no. Steve Hedder, Steve Office 100. Le bureau Yang Sari, Yang Sari states, Sari. They were Yun. They belonged to the Yun Center, au centre, ils the Southern Yun Center. Yun. Le I heard Yun that Sao Pim was involved with the Americans. That's right. Avec les Americans, vrai. Steve, Hedder. Steve Hedder. But you are saying that when Mais you went into secret in 1963, did all 63, the leadership go into secret? Or some of them, as, dans as, la I, as I recall, une partie des Pol Pot was at Office 100, Pol Pot était and Yang Sari states, Yang Sari I was. Dit, étais, Steve Hedder, Steve Hedder you and Sun Sen, Yang Sari, Yang Sari. Sun Sen, Sun Sen Kev Mies, Lang Saran, Lang Saran, and later three females joined in 65, my wife, ma femme, Sun Sen's wife, Sun Sen, and sister et Hugh Connery. Connery. As you know, is the wife of savez, Pol Pot. La femme de Pol Pot. Then Steve Hedder states, Ensuite, Steve Hedder and that office was in Tainin, in Vietnamese territory, and it was surrounded by Yun military guards, or what? Yun, Yang Sari states, Yang Sari répond, yes, really, oui, all the personal bodyguards were Yun, but my personal bodyguards were Khmer Rouge. Khmer Rouge. Oh no, not me, oh, no. my wife's bodyguards were Khmer Rouge, mine were Khmer Rouge. Les miens étaient des Yun. If we now move to Ensuite, uh, his statement about his activities, à ce que dit Yang Sari uh, concernant which, activités. in relation to the northeast zone, concernant la zone when he was, uh, as agreed in the agreed facts, uh, où made zone secretary, il a été and Sun Sen secrétaire de was zone, his deputy. Alors que Sun Sen était son and that's Cela est English 00417 Khmer 00062483 and French 00332704. Steve Hedder states, Steve Hedder dit, and you and Sun Sen et et Sun went Sen up to the northeast along with Ya to set up the Ia committee for the northeast. Nord you were secretary, Sun Sen was deputy secretary, adjoint, and Ya was the member of that time. Yang Sari, Yang Sari yes. Oui. And it was then that you and that Steve committee Hedder. set up conditions and carried out an armed war in the North East in 1968. Is that right? Pas? Yang, Sari. Yang Sari. Pol Pot came Pol up Pot in 1968. En 68. When he came up, he was still in 
Il était encore he came in 1966 point de and he, oh, he came to mid-67, he went up after we had gone ahead. Après que nous déjà Now I'd like to take your honours to Yang Sari's statement about his Sari activities au sujet de ses in building relations with China la mise en place and induct, induct, avec la inducting Chine Funk and Grunk members into the CPK in Beijing. Funk et du Grunk au PCK à Beijing. And that's it. ERN English 9 président, international co prosecutor could you Monsieur please le repeat the international pouvez-vous répéter les dernières uh, séries de RN car les interprètes n'ont pas pu en prendre note Thank you and I apologize for that it's French le procureur 003033 Sorry it's a French 0033 2690 2690 et 91 Now this question by Steve Hedder Steve Hedder pose une question C'est une très longue question comme vous n'en avez However, jamais vu de la part It's an important question and, and the question response important. is quite important et la réponse est importante in that it summarizes on y trouve what Steve Hedder un résumé to be the role of Yang Sari in Beijing. And as comme you le know, rôle de Yang Steve Hedder um, is an expert comme vous savez, Steve on uh, Cambodian history, and so obviously had access to a large a, amount of information sûr, about Yang Sari before sur Yang Sari he spoke to him, avant thus de uh, avec the long lui. question. La de la Steve Hedder states, Steve Hedder dit, Now let me turn, return to the matter of the Foreign Ministry. And in fact, in order to refer to the Foreign Ministry, we must return to the time when you were an emissary to Beijing. Beijing. As I understand si it, in 71, when you went to Beijing, Beijing, my hypothesis is that the work you were assigned to do, according to my first hypothesis, was similar votre travail to your work after 1975. Communications with China so that the Cambodian Revolution could have a path independent of Vietnam. That's one thing. Secondly, and I'm not speaking in general, doing whatever possible to have an exit that did not depend on Vietnam so that you could have an independent foreign policy using Beijing as an exit to contact foreign countries. That's one thing. Secondly, because there was the front then and there was the royal government, you, I hypothesize, had the job of gathering up the forces inside the front, inside the royal government, in a word, to control those forces and induct some as party members in order to control both the front and the royal government, to gather those forces as an internal core, to build those forces into party members to be able to control those forces. And as I understand it, from looking at the documentation, you had many successes in this second task. Only after researching the documentation was I able to understand and see that among the front and royal government level leadership, a large number, perhaps half, were inducted as party members by you. And among them were a number of old friends eux, with whom you had studied with in France or old friends that you had known and worked with in secret in Phnom Penh from 1957 Penh until 1963. And I see that later you particularly used them and inducted them 
ces gens, vous les avez utilisés, cadres, vous les avez fait entrer au parti à Beijing pour qu'ils deviennent cadres et fonctionnaires du ministère des Affaires étrangères. C'est -ce une longue question, mais uh, uh, um, Yang Sari, qui a vécu à Beijing, Yang Sari est certainement une personne pour pouvoir répondre ayant Yang Sari stated, vécu à Beijing, il devait certainement really pouvoir true. répondre. Yang Sari répond. C'est tout à fait Mr. exact. Par exemple, Mr. Hock Sukun, Chuan we had known one another in France. Nous, nous they had joined in the France. group they called. Uh, they were the progressives, groupe. and some of them became party members in Beijing. Des progressistes, That's true. et certains d'entre eux sont devenus membres du parti à Beijing. C'est exact. Your Honours, if I can turn to the last point, présent, I would like to take out of this interview, bearing in mind, as we've stated, there's a, a lot of other points that relate to the structure of the party and the evolution and the history. Le rôle, la um, but particularly, I'd like to take your honours to the point I made at the beginning as to Yang Sari's uh, statement to Steve Hedder that Il he talked to Pol Pot in um, 1974 when he came back from Steve Beijing Hedder, about du fait qu'il avait parlé avec Pol Pot de l'évacuation de Phnom Penh en 1974 à son retour de Beijing. Les ERN sont les suivants en anglais 00417-60-6-0-3 et 04 en Khmer 00026-24-75-79 et en français 0033 Two six eight four slash eight five zero zero three three two six eight four eight five. This clip we have a, as an audio clip. This uh, interview was tape recorded uh, with Mr. Yang Sari. And we have an audio clip, and it comes from uh, the, the file, the, the tape which is an inter interview with Yang Sari, take une one, de and it's Yang Sari. just in Khmer, Khmer ERN TR0042-3587-0034. And it's same number. And that's uh, IS20.6R. It's the document IS20.6R. And I would ask that uh, if the case manager could place Je demanderai this excerpt of the conversation de uh, on the screen de in the Khmer version, la transcription de cette and sonore if I can Khmer, ask the booth if they could play Je vais um, the excerpt of this uh, interview between Yang Sari and Steve Hedda as to their Yang discussions et Steve about the evacuation of Phnom Penh in 1974. De la discussion qui a eu lieu en 1974 au sujet de l'évacuation de Phnom Penh. And hopefully, I, I would not need to read, and the translators would be able to translate uh, the conversation as it plays. que les interprètes pourront traduire cet extrait au fur et à mesure. I've been told it's coming, Your Honour. It just takes a few moments. Veuillez patienter quelques instants. I'd like to go back to the meeting in September 1975. The reason I'm asking this question is because I noted that something happened at rural areas as people began to be evacuated from cities. Some people in the southwest zone de la had zone been du evacuated été to the northwest vers zone. La zone nord Was this issue discussed in the meeting of September 1978 or was that included in the predetermined plan as in the case September of the Yangsari, no, we did not discuss this. The evacuation was part of the already made decision. I was told that the decision to evacuate Phnom Penh was made in late March or 
early April Ou début 1970. Avril. 1975. Il en a été question à la réunion. On s'est demandé comment Phnom Penh gérer la population après la libération de Phnom Penh. J'ai soulevé la question auprès de Pol Pot en 1974. Je lui ai demandé comment l'on pouvait gérer Phnom Penh après sa libération. Il a aussi été Steve question Hader. de la Excuse population. Steve Hedder, excusez-moi, où l'avez-vous rencontré je l'ai rencontré près de Phnom Penh. C'était après mon retour Peking. de Pékin. Après mon trip. With the king in 1973, and following my trip to Hanoi, the meeting was in 1974. Steve Hedder, did that happen after you left an economic delegation to Vietnam and Peking? Diriger une Sari. délégation yes, économique it uh, it was au Vietnam et à Pékin, Yang Sari, oui, c'était après mon retour de ces déplacements. C'est aussi à ce moment-là qu'on a parlé de la façon de faire la situation, ainsi que les préparatifs pour la libération de Phnom Penh. C'est son excellence Chou Enlai qui nous a tout d'abord posé des questions sur la façon dont nous, nous entendions gérer la situation après la libération de Phnom Penh. Mais je ne lui ai pas donné de réponse précise car il me fallait attendre d'être rentré dans mon pays. Je devais tout d'abord en discuter. Au cours de la réunion, j'ai posé une question quant à la façon dont on pouvait gérer la population. Je n'ai pas demandé à ce moment-là There were three million people living in Phnom Penh. À l'époque, il y avait trois millions d'habitants à Phnom Penh. So my concern was how we could manage this population. Et je me demandais comment nous pourrions gérer une telle population. Pol Pot responded that I needed not worry about this, as he had all the experience to handle the situation. Parce qu'il avait toute l'expérience voulue pour faire face à la situation. I was reassured to focus my duties abroad. Et j'ai pu me concentrer sur mes tâches à l'étranger. I then said, I raised this issue because the Chinese premier minister Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign Minister, asked me about this. Chen Shui-shek, who was the Chinese Foreign
particulier ceux qui étaient des paysans et qui avaient une maison dans la campagne. Les gens qui étaient hors des coopératives devaient être évacués en premier. Et l'on m'a dit que ces personnes évacuées n'allaient pas rentrer chez elles, mais bien aller dans les coopératives. Les coopératives étaient prêtes à accueillir ces nouveaux venus. Steve Heder. Steve Heder. When the decision was made in 1974, were Lorsque you in la décision the a été prise en 1974, est-ce que vous étiez dans le pays Yang répond. No, I wasn't. Non, I was in Pékin. J'étais à Pékin. Thank you, Your Honours. That, uh, that's the, the complete passage in the Steve Heder interview dealing with that topic. Uh, what, is, what is interesting, I think, In relation to uh, this topic, uh, Mr. Yang Sari had actually spoken to someone else about the evacuation of Phnom Penh. De de Phnom Penh. Other journalists, before he spoke to Steve Hedder in December de 1996, in fact, Hedder, en, if we look at, en, en 1996, if we look at document IS 20.8, le document IS 20.8. English ERN 0078611, Khmer 0022-443-443-44, and French 0034-377-0034-377. Perhaps if that can be called up on the screen, that excerpt, but whilst that's happening, um, Mr. Yang Sari had an interview with uh, an ABC news crew from Australia, and it was conducted on the 18th of August 1996, which is uh, a number of months before the interview with Steve Hedder. And this interview was published in the Phnom Penh Post with the following introductory remarks. Australia's ABC network was among a select group of journalists invited to interview Khmer Rouge breakaway leader Yang Seri and his two immediate subordinates, Wai Chen and Sok Pete, on August the 28th, near Malai. The following is a full translated transcript of the 18-minute conference. And if we can perhaps go back to the screen where we have this quote from Yang Seri in relation to the evacuation of Phnom Penh, it's perhaps taken out of context there, so I actually have to put to Your Honours, another paragraph that immediately precedes it, so Your Honours understand the context in which uh, Mr. Yang Sari made this statement. And the question was put, you, said to be Mr. You, were, you are said to be Mr. Pol Pot's right-hand man during the Pol Pot regime, where so many people died from massacre or starvation or something like that. Do you take that kind of responsibility? Answer. I am not the right hand of Pol Pot. Obviously, the main right hand man is Nguyen Chia. Nguyen Chia is his right hand. And there was a committee which considered all questions about security, which comprised four people. Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia, Sun Sen, and Sun Sen's advisor, Yan Yat. Yan Yat. All decisions were made by the committee of the four. The evacuation of the people from the cities did not involve my participation in this decision. Because on the 23rd of April 1975, I got off the plane from Peking, and I saw the town had already been deserted of its inhabitants. Everything was already decided. And it was not worth talking about. And if we can go back to the screen, that's the context in which Mr. Yang Sari offered this statement to the ABC journalist. And he states, but frankly speaking, in 1974, I talked with Pol Pot that taking people out of Stung Treng and Krate was easy because there weren't many people. But evacuating people out of Phnom Penh would not be so easy. Everything must be thoroughly arranged because there were millions of people. The next 
quote, of course, is not particularly relevant right now. But what I would say, Your Honour, is in relation to the relevance, obviously, to this case, is that this interview given by Yang Sari to ABC was quite clear about the discussion with Pol Pot that everything must be thoroughly arranged because there were millions of people. And then he elaborates further some four months later with Stephen Hedder and explains that discussion more in full. In terms of the relevance, Your Honour, it's very clear that in mid-1974, Yang Sari and Pol Pot spoke about the evacuation of Phnom Penh. And they spoke about the difficulties of doing it. And there was a discussion about that. The fact that Mr. Yang Sari may have been in Beijing when any particular decision was made, uh, we would submit, is uh, not not of significance, bearing in mind he was aware that uh, this was a likely event if the Khmer Rouge took over Phnom Penh. The President, uh, the Defence Council for Again, the last comments by Mr. Smith are pure submissions. I don't understand what part of your instructions he does not get. Now, if he wishes to make closing arguments, he can do so. I suggest that he refrain. He's commenting on the evidence. Those are called submissions. They're called submissions in the United States, in Australia, in Europe, in the international tribunals. International tribunals. What part does he not get? Nationaux, internationaux. Donc, qu'est-ce qu'il ne comprend pas? Your honours, there's, there's nothing not to get. Your honours have stated yesterday that uh, documents could be put forward and the relevancy made clear to the judges. And we're talking about the relevancy to the issues in this case. Um, as, as my colleague said yesterday, we could sit here and just read documents and not point to the relevance. Your honours, we've taken your instructions. These are not closing arguments. We completely agree. But at least the idea of this hearing is so that the prosecution can provide some guide to the, to the trial chamber as to how we believe this evidence relates to the case. In any event, we haven't been speaking at length in terms of comment. Uh, you've allowed comment uh, on, on these issues. And uh, that's all that needs to be said, Your Honours. And I'm happy to move on to another document. I think enough has been said um, on the relevance of that particular that, that particular conversation. De cette conversation. Something. The President. Yes, you may proceed. Le Président. Allez-y. Now, if we now can move uh, to another document. Si nous pouvions maintenant passer à un autre document. And this is um, document D56 slash doc D doc point quatre quatre sept. And it's at English ERN nine zero zero one on anglais one five nine five eight. Seems a bit long. But Khmer zero zero seven one seven zero six two and French zero zero seven two three. 786. Your Honours, this um, is another statement given by Yang Sari in 1996, uh, the 9th of September 1996, and it's published by the BBC Monitoring Service. It's a summary of the world broadcast on the 12th of September 1996. And if I can ask that this document be placed on the screen. And the report is entitled, Breakaway Khmer Rouge Leader Yang Sari says, I was not a part of the decision making. Although there are comments in this statement 
je ne faisais pas partie de la prise de décision. Deux passages de, cette, euh, de cet article sont importants, portant donc sur les politiques du PCK depuis sa création de 1960, et les politiques, ou certainement le but ou of indiscriminate, indiscriminate massacring pratique of people de massacre that are associated with Vietnam. discrimination de personnes associées That's avec le Vietnam. That's the reason for, these, for this document uh, in this case. Voilà la raison. And donc, perhaps I would like to put, put this in context by, le by le reading it. And perhaps if we can uh, call it up on the stream, si screen, le présenter à um, it will be easier for others to follow. And Yang Sari states, Today, I would like to warmly welcome all of you, ladies and gentlemen, and friends who are present at this historic press conference at our base. I particularly welcome all of you, ladies and gentlemen, of the Cambodian press who have come to this area for the first time. I wish you a safe stay during your work today. One. First of all, dire, I would like to stress that my disagreement with the group of Salaf Sar, alias Pol Pot, began back on the very day the party was formed, that is, in 1960. Born to a landowner's family, Pol Pot's attitude was heavily influenced by feudalism. During the years, he had led the National Liberation Movement, and particularly during his rule, de 1975 à 1978, as the party's most important figure. Le le plus important du parti. As a matter of fact, it was Pol Pot en fait, who destroyed everything. Pol Pot qui a tout détruit. He determined all the party's Il policies toutes les politiques du and parti decided et all its strategies de toutes ses and tactics. Et de toutes ses tactics. The others in the leadership only did les what he ordered them to do. Ce qui leur Pol de faire. Pot could not Pol tolerate Pot any views other than his own let alone opposing moins, views. The first disagreement between Pol Pot and me took place in 1960. En 1960. At that time, à we had to interpret the Moscow Joint Declaration of various communist parties concerning the implementation of national democracy. Pol Pot gave no consideration Pol Pot to the democratic aspects, thereby laying great emphasis on class struggle. À la lutte des As for me, I emphasized the term Indo-Chinese, which had a great significance and was aimed at rallying all national forces. À les Born in 1925 to a peasant family, Né en 1925, toujours prôné une ligne modérée. J'ai eu tendance à écouter les avis des autres. But Mais, listen to my views. My love for democracy gradually took root écoutez mes points de vue. When I led the Khmer students union in France, a progressivement germé en moi alors que je dirigeais l'union des étudiants en France. Thanks to the various work Cette attitude s'est peu à peu renforcée grâce aux divers contacts de travail que j'avais avec les cercles intellectuels et internationaux. During the 1970 to 75 war period, I disagreed with the idea J'étais indiscriminately massacring à de the Hanoi trained Cambodians who were accused qui avaient été by par the Pol Pot group of being the Vietnamese agents. agents. Concerning the plan to evacuate people forcibly from the cities, I was not part of the decision making. Je n'ai pas participé and then à la prise the de décision. Got off the plane from Beijing, Puis il dit qu'il est descendu de l'avion qui empty. est ramené de Beijing et qu'il a vu que Phnom Penh était. Following liberation on the 17th of April, Après la my capacity avril as Deputy Prime Minister in charge of foreign affairs, I spent most, most of my time abroad. Therefore, de mon temps I did not take part in any important decision-making. In fact, the most important figure, en fait, the second most in the party's hierarchy, party, known as brother number, number two, and Pol Pot's right-hand man, was not me, but Nguyen Chia. Who, together with Sun Sen, Sun Sen's wife Yan Yan, alias Yat, 
carried out all the decisions made by Pol Pot, such as arresting, incarcerating, torturing and killing anyone who expressed opposing views or destroyed anyone disliked, such as the intellectuals. I, I wanted to read that statement out, out in full to put in um, those statements in relation to um, the view of Yang Sari that when the party first de Yang Sari, um, created its statute or developed its party lines, quand le parti it was on the basis of class struggle, de statut, not just uh, sur la base political de la lutte struggle. Des et pas simplement la lutte and politique. and in, in light of that, we can also, also see that we, this is different. This position is different, of course, to his other interviews, particularly done when, when, when you look at them in 1972 and, and during, the, during the regime period, there's been no word of disagreement uh, with Pol Pot. And when you look at those interviews, we ask your honours to see that in terms of uh, attitude and approach by Mr Yang Sari towards Pol Pot, it was quite different. However, now, the 9th of September 96, Puis, after the defection from the Khmer Rouge, uh, we would submit fait the attitude has changed. Nous vous but I think que the importance de of the point is that it's an omission by Mr. Yang Sari that the party was operating on a line of a class revolution rather than just a purely political one. And that is significant, Your Honours, in relation to uh, what happens during the uh, democratic uh, Campuchian period. Votre façon de voir and les événements du Campuchia the next, the other main point where this, this is relevant, and, and particularly because it's a, it's a statement from, uh, from Yang Sari, Car il not, not one de Yang uh, where he's been bullied into uh, answering any questions. It's a statement from him that non, il une déclaration the idea of massacring indiscriminately et que de massacrer um, Hanoi trained Cambodians des during 1970 um, to 75, he disagreed with that. Il so it's il clear était en prior cette to 1975, donc clair there was 1975, a policy Il a policy in the party to kill une people related to um, the Vietnamese, and they were viewed as enemies. Les et That's before the 17th of April, et avant when the party avril, uh, took control le parti of the country. A pris le du pays. Uh, we would submit that that type of admission wouldn't be made Nous if, in fact, it wasn't true. Yang Sari n'admettrait pas une telle chose si ce n'était pas vrai. Perhaps the third point um, from his statement Troisième is point the, à retenir, the aspect that um, relative um, à cette there was no, uh, he talks about, it wasn't a, a democratic process. Um, the CPK and, and Pol Pot was not interested in a democratic avait, process. Que Pol Pot et le PCK Certainly, pas intéressé in terms of decision making, um, that's quite at odds with what Nguyen Chia has et said par rapport à la that at that, ce qui vient that, first ce meeting, a dit, that first meeting of the party in 1960, that three-day meeting, du parti en everyone agreed ce de the party lines. Et que tout le monde était avec la ligne du parti. As far as the dictatorial, non-democratic approach of Pol Pot, you may ask par yourself, perhaps that may have been Pol Pot, the approach of the party, on but not Pol Pot. De du parti, non pas Your Honours, I'd now Pol like Pot. to move to the next document, and it's uh, D313, slash 1.249. And this is, a, this is a cable, a diplomatic cable from uh, the United States, and it was sent uh, from the US Embassy in Phnom Penh to the US Secretary of State in Washington, D.C. as part of a regular series of briefings categorized Khmer Report and Political Summaries. Now, the document is dated 4th of March 1975, and it summarizes the political developments um, in relation to Cambodia uh, that week. If I can take your honors to, there's two points 
um, I would like to raise in relation Deux to this document. And the first is par à ce the fact that when we look at the document, you'll see that um, Yang Sari, it appears on the document, delivered the, re the resolution Donc, or the declaration Sari, enfin, to, document, um, qui livré, to kill the seven Lonno traitors to the, to the North Vietnamese government la after that statement was made. And we'll look at that in a moment. And the other, the other aspect that I think is important is that as of the 4th of March 1975, um, 1975 Mr. Yang Sari was engaging in active support with the Chinese, Sari, which in fact submitted to, to uh, he Chinois, admits that to uh, Stephen Hedder in his interview, même, uh, but active support with the Chinese in, in relation Hedder, to economic and military support for uh, the CPK's um, fight. La lutte du Parti communiste du so perhaps if we, if we move to the, that document, if we go to 00413052053 English, and Khmer 0074086808, and French 00751930 to 31. And I would ask if that, if that could be placed on the screen by the case manager so that your honours can see uh, the nature of the, of the cable and the, uh, the detail in relation to um, these points. Donc le câble diplomatique provenant de l'ambassade américaine à Paris. And perhaps whilst that is happening, um, I, will, I will start reading um, at point 13. It states, in-country leader Yang Sari headed for China February the 28th after staying in North Vietnam since the Tet Chinese, since Tet. Chinese Vice Premier Chi Teng Q dined him on March the 1st and promised powerful backing for the Khmer people. The next day, Yang Sari led a delegation of Grunk luminaries in talks with Chi Teng Q and Chinese trade military, logistics, foreign affairs, and foreign economic relations officials. Sari then sat in on Sihanouk's afternoon reception with the Congolese Prime Minister on March 2nd. Comment. The list of Chinese officials appears to have been released to show heightened possibilities for Chinese aid. Yang Sari's present trip may presage announcements of an aid agreement that may have been negotiated during 1974 when he led a Grunk Funk economic delegation to Hanoi and Peking. And then it states, Pam Fan Dong took the opportunity of a visit by the Grunk ambassador, Mr. Yang Sari, who gave him a copy of a resolution passed by the Second Cambodian National Congress. And it says, see below. And if we go below to paragraph 15, we can see, certainly on a reasonable interpretation, what that resolution was, what was the resolution he delivered. A, and it states, in-country clandestine radio reports la radio that on que le pays February the 24th le pays plutôt, to the 20, 24, 24, 25 Q Sampan chaired the second Cambodian National Progress Congress Cambodian in liberated territory. Libéré. The first taking took place in July 1921-1973. The Grunk in-country cabinet attended, as did 273 representatives of front associations and the army. They declared that it is absolutely necessary to kill the seven traitors, Lon Nol, Sirik Matak, Son Yok Tan, Cheng Heng, Im Tan, Long Beret, and Sosthen Fernandez, and other politicians and high personalities. However, they may join Funk if they stop cooperating with the six, seven now. I ask, I would ask that your honours look at this document 
Je demande donc à la Chambre. I think it's clear that that's the resolution that was delivered lire dans ce document to the North Vietnamese de la résolution on that day. Ce jour -là. And certainly, in terms of knowing what the policy was in relation to Et certainement, uh, Lon Nol leaders, la um, it was obviously very clear in Mr. Yang Sari's mind il devait être bien clair, of, donc, of what à that was. De Yang Sari, ce que cela Your Honours, I probably have Madame, les juges, another 15 or 20 minutes, il me reste 15 à 20 minutes. Um, and I'll be starting on a new document et now. So I would ask, perhaps, as it's 5 to 12, je donc, we may not, I may not finish the document, or I can, I can keep je going. Peux so, ne pas terminer, je peux in your honour, I President. It is now appropriate time to take uh, lunch, gentlemen. The chamber will adjourn from now until 1.30 p.m. The Council for Nguyen you may proceed. Uh, it probably won't surprise you that I, I would like to ask uh, for my client to follow the remainder of the proceedings downstairs. The I have um, all the paperwork ready to hand over to the greffier. President, having, having heard, heard the request by Nguyen Chia through his defense counsel to follow the proceeding remotely through audio-visual means in the holding cell downstairs, I would like to ask the chamber to the chamber grants leave for the request. Submitted by Nunjia Defense Council, not to be present directly in the hearing, but instead follow the proceeding from the holding cell downstairs through the audio visual means. However, the chamber advised the council to submit to the chamber the letter of waivers with the some print or signature de of the accused and audio visual equipment technicians are instructed to link the audio visual means uh, for the accused Nguyen so that he can follow the proceeding from the holding cell. The security guards are now instructed to bring the accused to the holding cell downstairs and this afternoon uh, the bring uh, them, bring, uh, bring the accused, accused some pawn back to the courtroom before 1.30. The court is now adjourned.